for them to be okay, be safe, have dignity. That's all they're looking for. That's all they need. very difficult to forget some of the challenges and tribulations and, and, and the pain, mental pain and physical pain, because at that camp, horrible things happen, horrible things. Sexual abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, and the Mexican government wouldn't do anything about it. So that camp was very, very bad. And everyone, at one level or another, got traumatized because of sometimes lack of food, fear of the cartels, not knowing if they're gonna go across the border. Many moms were worried about their kids. Many kids were worried about their parents. It was just like a vicious circle, you know, it never ended, it was, it was bad. Because of the fact that there is so much um, violence and, and atrocities done to human life, no respect to human life, and so therefore they find whatever means and ways to get to a safe space as they can. And so the border of the United States with Mexico seems to be the best possible option they have, and that's why we see them right here. And so it's unfortunate that once something else happens, this almost ceases to be of importance anymore. And because it's out of sight, out of mind, nobody realizes that we still have thousands and thousands of people at our borders coming, asking for help, asking for protection because they fear for their lives. And what is our response?